What the? How long has that been there? Hello, welcome back to What Our Movie. I am Tony. And I'm Beth. And we're back with Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. My bad. Uh, we're on season four, on episode seven. Ooh. Still got a few to go. We're kind of halfway ish. There's 13. So. What, through the whole show? No. Joking. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, last time Mac and Charlie died, or did not. Part two. Yeah, well, we saw both parts, yeah. Uh, this time, who knows what they're going to get into. But this is Season 4, Episode 7. This aired on the 9th of October 2008. Directed by Fred Savage. And written by Rob McElhaney, Scott Marder, and Rob Russell. Who, again, we've seen before. Yeah. So, what will we get into? What would you like to see? Something out there. Go on, crazy. Name anything. Uh... Anything you can think of. Them be nice. No, you said this before. They go to the zoo. They buy a burger. A fun fair. You want them to go to a fun fair? I would like them to go to a fun, fun fair. fair. Well, we'll see. Because I feel like they'd be fun. like dicks and like jump the queue in front of kids and like okay. steal kids' candy floss. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Let's get into it. Um, full reactions in the description. You need your own copy to watch along. Just make sure to come back where we'll talk all about it. Let's go. What are you doing tonight? What the hell kind of question is that? Yeah, you're asking us to predict what the future, Dee. How can I predict the future? <laughs> That's yeah. like me asking well, you. there's a new martini bar opening up downtown. I thought maybe we could do something different. I should just watch that stupid Sex in the City movie. You know you did it. Fess up. I did not poop the bed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. What? I'm sorry. Did you say something? There was some poop in our bed this morning. Oh, jeez. And Charlie did it. That is bullshit. Well, yesterday we wake up and there's a piece of poop right in the middle of me and Frank, okay? Wait a minute. So this happened two nights in a row? <laughs> oh, man. So we the, first piece. the second poop. You held on to it, right? Brought it along. Oh, oh no. You <laughs> said we can't predict the future? How could we possibly have seen something that's awesome? Yeah, we're going to have to clear our schedule. You're not going to go out with me tonight because these idiots found two poopies in a bed? <laughs> yeah, but the poop. It's a mystery. Oh, my God. The poop. What is this going to be called? <laughs> he pooped the bed. I love how they're like, how could we have possibly predicted this? And I'm like, how could you have possibly predicted this? <laughs> Did you ever see the day it would be who pooped the bed? No. <laughs> I love how they're like, did you bring it along? Of course. <laughs> it's like... Being Charlie's flat, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a giant rat pooping in there. Maybe. Bed. You never know. Hey, girlfriends! <laughs> God, you scared me! <laughs> did I? My bad! Putting together a girl's night out. Want you to come? Ooh. Oh my God, why would I ever go out with you? I hate you. I know! <laughs> Too. Look, I know you're gonna be alone Jeez. tonight, okay? I read all about it in the notebook Charlie keeps of your whereabouts. You don't have any friends. I have a ton of friends. <laughs> Name one friend. I'll give you the notebook if you come out with me tonight. Uh... <laughs> she looks so excited. Fine. Fun! See you tonight. Oh. They're the worst at getting people to do things. Who? Mm. Hey. Something big <laughs> Are yeah, they asked for DNA testing of the poop. You want me to do what? <laughs> we want you to examine our poopy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we just want to know who it came from. That's what, you've been sleeping in a giant dress shirt. It probably just fell at the bottom. Okay, <laughs> clearly, clearly, we need to figure this out. Before. Please get out of my lab. Oh, no, that wasn't what I was there, say. man. Why? You just missed out on an extraordinary adventure, pal. Let's get out of here. There's other ways to figure <laughs> this out. Extraordinary adventure. Would you call it that? Yeah. You got turned? Yeah. You got turned? <laughs> I'll take a look at it. Well, we've been eating newspaper. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go both ways, dude. Really? Sorry. <laughs> this appears to be a piece of a credit card. Shoot. Inconclusive. Yeah. How is that not specific to one of you? <laughs> oh, man, but that's inconclusive. Oh, you got <laughs> How? Wolf hair? Wolf hair. Mm -hmm. Also so inconclusive. You, I'm not, uh, Jesus you Christ. There's so much wolf hair in our apartment right now. Why are you eating it? Well, it both, both, both of you are eating wolf. We had a wolf. Have you tried it? Before? All right. Can we move on to the DNA test, yeah, please? You, yeah, I can't do that. I just wanted to look at some poop. Oh. oh. What? You're not a what scientist? I never said I was a scientist. Bro, you have wasted our time. You have ruined our turn. That's the only what? piece of evidence that I have. What am I doing? What is happening? Who is hey. she again? I'm going to take off my bra, blast my nip. Okay, See let's hold it. Let's hold on that. Can we get three Cosmos, please? Actually, make mine a water. I have a drinking problem. Wow, that's a horribly yeah. unattractive thing to announce to everybody. Come and okay, come in. Let me do the talking. What's up, ladies? Name's Artemis. 
I have a bleached asshole. <laughs> okay, it's time to move on to the reenactment. Sold. That would get me in there. I'll be like, sold. Reenactment and drum. My legs get hot. Well, I definitely see how something could have slipped out. Absolutely. Of it. What about Charlie's hole? What? Just get into the bed, please, and show us how to sleep, guys. You guys need to get two beds. Oh, uh, Come to your house and tell you how to sleep. I sleep in a king size bed by myself. Oh. King Dennis on his bed made for kings with his toilet made out of gold. Okay, guys, everybody calm down, please. It's not I'm sure I was sleeping like this that night. We sleep ass to ass, you know that. <laughs> oh, great. I think we're going to have to do an overnight observation. Fascinating. <laughs> They got a really nice situation going yeah. on. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. uh, no, nothing. You know what? Why don't we sleep in shifts? <laughs> oh, <laughs> god damn it. There's gonna be another poop in there. Uh, oh, <laughs> the music. <laughs> 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 What's the music? It was so intense. Who was it? Sophisticated men, it could be anyone now. It could be. I'm telling people that we have bleached assholes. He was going to find out anyway. Oh my god. And you, you shouldn't be drinking in a shoe store. And you should know how to hold your boobs a little better. Ugh. I'll hold your boobs a little better. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hello, we are here. I don't like this bitch's attitude. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what was that? Bottle over my head? No, of course she didn't. I'll meet you outside. She's just napping. Get her. <sighs> there we go. 700. 700? Yes, well, I'll tell you what, you pay for quality. This has been declined. Declined? Try that uh -huh. one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> another sample and we cross reference the samples mm. I can't go now really <laughs> I could probably squeeze something out this is exciting this is very exciting it's very exciting <laughs> places are we here? Hey. Your bar and we're gonna... damn it waitress that is not what I wanted <laughs> how do you so I know what my name oh, is I'm sorry I'm, I'm supposed to be expected to remember everyone's oh, name at all moments God. of the day that's sorry. Yeah, this is wrong to, to her <laughs> he was turtle heading. The <laughs> turtle heading. No, there was no turtles. Bad attitude when you're drinking. You have a bad attitude when you're drinking, you huge footed slut. You know what? I'm just gonna go get more wasted and then I'm gonna bang some random dude. Really? Can it be this guy? No, I can't, but it could be done. Pass. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna... Actually, I'm just gonna stick around. Excuse me? You know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what? Let me go find some classy, sophisticated people who can hold their booze, who don't talk about their bleached assholes, and who aren't obsessed with poop! <laughs> that is his face. <laughs> okay. Bring up speed here, boys. <laughs> this episode is bad. <laughs> what do you think the chunky earth tones represent? Look at the rich texture, hey. the dimensions. <laughs> it's almost as if you can smell it. Oh, God. It's almost as if it exploded out of the artist. Oh. Well, <laughs> I think it's crap. Crap, 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 crap. crap. <laughs> She's freaking out. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why is there so much poo? <laughs> She went to the Poozium instead of the museum. <laughs> Why is there so much poo? <laughs> the fart gallery instead of the art gallery. The fart gallery instead of the art gallery. God. You've been saving those for ages. <laughs> you guys win, alright? Are you happy? Win what? Oh! Oh. <laughs> Fresh poop. <laughs> Four turds. <laughs> what was that like? So, first poop was obviously Frank. Old and weak, he had an accident. That's why he was so intent on destroying it. And then you went and did it again the next night? Or did you? 
Two poops and two nights? Tall order for such a short man. <laughs> no. Oh. He wanted to get back at Frank, but due to his poor diet, couldn't produce a turd. So he called Mac. Dennis mm. listens to Mac's phone calls and he heard every word. <laughs> Dennis was jealous that Charlie had chosen Mac to help instead of him. He <laughs> swore to have his revenge. <laughs> That's why he encouraged Mac to sleep. He was gonna put the frame on Mac that a futon slept on by the weight of three men would be off its <laughs> axis and slope to the center. This is very intricate. Like a small brown snail. <laughs> Crept to the middle between Charlie and Frank. You wanted in on this poop war from the start. No, I didn't. The outcast, <laughs> the slut, the bitch. The whore. Damn. The lonely, sad, slutty, bitchy whore. <laughs> you sat on the sidelines while these four titans. If any of it were true. Uh, can we wrap this up at some point? In due time. <laughs> Frank, She's very into this, isn't she? Morning after morning, you bury your poop after your roast to hide it from Charlie. <laughs> but, convinced that Charlie had discovered your dirty little secret, Frank pooped the bed again the next night as revenge. Only a lot more came out than he expected. He had gone too far. Have gone too far. <laughs> Looking for someone who could replicate Charlie's small and malnourished turd. And that's where he came upon <laughs> his old friend, Rickety Cricket. Get up. Known the world over for his ability to replicate any man's stool, Cricket came back and committed fecal forgery. <laughs> fecal Which leads forgery. us to the third turd. <laughs> Dennis and Mac thought it'd be funny to put the frame on Frank and Charlie, and so they both pooped. Two became one. <laughs> Fused together by fear and hatred and hair. <laughs> the waitress pooped in Dee's purse while Dee's back was turned. <laughs> she was startled, knocking her purse to the floor, causing her to turn the <laughs> where it sure. stands before us right now. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, The bed has been solved. A what? Oh. <laughs> Mic trick. Nah, I did it. <laughs> I did all the poops. Really? Yeah, I did, oh. I did every one of them. I even did one while she was wrapping up right here. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Why would you do that, dude? Because poop is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I guess poop is funny. Well, it's funny. He's got a poop. Let's poop it on the floor. It is funny. That was a good one. You know what? <laughs> well played, my man. Yeah. <laughs> I hate my life. Yeah. Seriously, dude, don't ever poop in our bed again. <laughs> I felt like that was you at the end. Well, there we go. So, the mystery has been solved. There's a part of me that feels like, have they done the podcast for this episode yet? Uh, oh, I don't know, actually. I feel like I'd want to listen to the podcast, because the vibe I got from this was that they didn't know who had pooped at the end. No, they didn't. What, any of them? Yeah, yeah. Like, I felt like it was genuine reaction from all the cast when Dan and Demetrio oh, was like... See. Oh, I don't know. No, they me. must have. Well, no, if you watch their reactions, yeah, but Rob, they generally... Yeah, Rob wrote this episode when they see them. It generally, like, most of their reactions looked like... Maybe that's oh, just their acting. Because it was just the way Danny was obviously like... I just, it was even like the fact he did one then, and they were like, <laughs> what? It just looked so genuine. And I mean, it's just like, the good acting. And then when he's the... like, poop is funny. And then they're like, yeah, poop is funny. It just looked genuine that they I think they just genuinely were pretty good it. at acting. Yeah, they, they did it. It was well written. I think yeah. this episode, for being about poop, is yeah. really well written. Yeah. What did you think of it overall? No, it's funny. Yeah. It was just shockingly funny. <laughs> it was, was like, so stupid. What? I love it. It's, it's such a stupid Sometimes episode. Sometimes my shocked face comes into play before yeah. my laughter face. Yeah. Because I'm just <laughs> like... I try to process what's happening. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, it had very it had vibes of, like, obviously detective shows, like, or, or films, like Knives Out or... Yeah like we talk about the death on paradise is a thing over here it's like 20 seasons long or yeah. something but they literally in death and paradise at the end of every episode the detective will stand around while everyone's no, just it's sitting a there thing. yeah it's, it's stand, yeah exactly that's probably it yeah. goes back for yeah obviously further um but yeah it, it's all about poop yeah um but we started off with d saying are you gonna come out with me tonight the martini martinis bar. We're gonna live like uh, I don't know the names. Do you know the names? Sex Manfrey in the city. 
Sex in the City. Oh, yeah. I've seen you watch that film. You've been going on about it. So, yeah. but Dee was very, very focused on yeah, having was. a sophisticated and yeah. uh, fun life, I guess. Yeah. But meanwhile, here comes Charlie and Frank. Frank. You pooped the bed. You did it. And it's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, whoa, whoa, wait up. And, what uh, what did you mystery. say? Who pooped? Someone pooped the bed? And like, yeah. yeah. Pooped in the bed last night. And then we were like, okay, mistakes happen. And then it happened yeah. again. Yeah. Wait, it's happened twice. <laughs> Do you have it? <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's like, wow, this is, it just got interesting. And yeah. then, oh, yeah, because she was like, predi- something about predicting the future. It's like, how can we possibly predict the future? Yeah. And the Mac at this point was like, CD, how can we predict something this exciting would yeah. happen? <laughs> and she's like, you've got to be kidding me, right? This. Yeah. Um, she's like, like going to find some people, isn't she? Yeah. And you're like, uh, what did he say? So I don't know if he said it at that point. Um, but yeah, he's like, uh, the, it's all about the mystery. We've got to solve the mystery. Yeah. And you're like, what could the episode title be for yeah. this? Who pooped the bed? Who yeah. the bed? Um, we get the waitress walking yeah. along. D jumps out of nowhere yeah. and scares her. He's like, are you stalking me? And she's like, no. I'm just using this book, that notebook yeah. that Charlie writes right, with all everything. your whereabouts and what you do. And I know you don't have any friends and you'd be walking through here. I have here. a friend, Frederick. Frederick's your cat and he died three weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> They're so mean to her. Yeah. It's like, you're going to come out with me. We're going to get... No. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not even your friend. I hate you. <laughs> she's like, well... No, we're just girls, aren't we? Catty. Yeah. She's like, stop trying to grab the book. Yeah. She's like, if you come out with me, I'll give you the book. Yeah. She looks so excited. She's like, hee. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, fine. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, we cut to... DNA a lab. <laughs> yes. Can you do? <laughs> I love. See, I I was thinking about like I was talking to you about uh, doing like rankings of our shows eventually yeah. when we get through them all and stuff. And then I was like, oh, we should probably rank based on like music and stuff. And then mm-hmm. I didn't think too early. I was like, the music in this show is so perfectly suited for it. For the yeah. craziness that's happening. Like even at that moment, there was like the really carefree music happening, and yeah. you've just got the guy staring and <laughs> all their faces yeah. looking back at him. Not a word said for no. a bit, and it's just like, you want me to do what? Yeah. <laughs> but he refuses to test, test the poop. Food. We want you to test it to find yeah. out whose it is. He refuses that. It's like, no, I will not. It's like, well, you're going to miss out. No, he says something, I will, something about testing poop, and then they were like, oh, I thought you were going to say something else then. He's like, you need to get yeah. out of my lab now. Yeah. I was like, no, you weren't going to say that. And then it's they like, go to leave. And well, then the they're... first, he's like, you're missing out on an extraordinary adventure here. Yeah. <laughs> And they go to leave, and then there's a guy there like... You got some poop? Yep. <laughs> I'll check it out for you. Yep. Um, but uh, I, I, before that, sorry, the cut in between their faces, all four of them stared at him. All four of them had a different expression. It was great. So good. <laughs> um, but yeah, cut to him going through the poop. He's like, it's got newspaper in here. Yeah, someone's eating newspaper. Ah, it could go either way. It could be either yeah. of us. It's like credit card in here, broken credit yeah. card. It's like inconclusive. <laughs> It's like wolf fur. Mm, yeah, that's, that could be both of us. It's like, why are you eating wolf fur? It's like it's all over in, the flat. Yeah, it just you know, you in. breathe in it. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's blood here. Someone needs to go to the doctor. doctor it's like, look, we don't need judgment. We just need yeah. to know who it is. No, right, DNA testing. He's like, I can't DNA test it. I'm not even a scientist. Like, what? I just wanted to. Yeah. Examine some poop. <laughs> it's like, you've ruined the poop. There's like, no way. I can't it. believe you've done this. <laughs> yeah. So ridiculous this episode, yeah. but it's so funny. I don't, it's so well done, I think. But yeah, um, I'm gonna blast my nips, is what she said, or something like. They get my bra off and blast my nips. Out. Oh yeah, so they're in the martini bar. <laughs> Wait, cut to the bar, and Artemis is there. Yes. Did you expect anyone other than the waitress? No, I didn't. Not only do we get, yeah, we got yeah. Artemis as well. Um, so she's like near a pole, I think, or dance. She's dancing that. with people, and then yeah, yeah. Everyone, she's like. Um, over, I'm gonna have to take my bra off. Yeah, blast my nips out. <laughs> yeah. And then the barmaid come over. Yeah, and then D orders three cosmos. Yeah, it's like um, no, I have a water. Yeah, I have, so I have a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> yeah, I have an alcohol problem. It's like yeah, you should just hold it. You'll be yeah, able to. That's not a good idea. I'll have a water. <laughs> no, you should have a good idea of what you. Uh, if you be hold doing. the cosmo, you'll get the diary. Yeah, and then uh, oh, I was like Jaeger bomb. He's like no, a cosmos. It's like a something bomb, a dirty bomb, a this stuff. Yeah. Know what she said. <laughs> yeah. And then two o'clock, guys are coming. Mm-hmm. 
And then what she say? I have a bleached well, before the, she said, hi, my name's Artemis. I, I have, have a bleached, bleached arsehole. arsehole. <laughs> the way she said it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I do like it later. If on someone when just said that to me, I'd be like, uh, okay. I do like it when they're in the shoe shop later on. And then Dee's always like, why did you say that? Don't go around telling people we have bleached assholes. And then she was like, but they're not They're going to find out anyway. Yeah, I did like that. It was like... (laughs) What do you think of Artemis? We've had her before. This is the most we had her, I think. She was quite central in this episode. I like it. I think the last time we got her was when the bar went crazy and then they did the acting thing outside the bar. So, yeah. I um, I just think you never know what you're going to get with her. She's Yeah, she's all And she's not so much a character that the... The whole gang don't really interact with her, do they, often? They don't bully her, like. Mm. Like the waitress and Rickety Cricket. Yeah, she doesn't seem to take any shit from them. No. Yeah. She's like a extra character, but on a different level. Yeah, I quite like it. Like, she gets more involved with them yeah, than yeah. against them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Mostly with D at the moment. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Um, so we cut to <laughs> in, the pajam- in their pyjamas. Yeah, they need to see how they sleep. Yeah, and Dennis like, you wear out. that? Because uh, something could have definitely slipped out of that. Yeah, so what about like, Charlie's hole? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> then Charlie's like, I was definitely sleeping like this with his butt hanging off the edge. Well, first they were like, they got in the bed and it was like, you two really need to get two separate beds. Yeah. It's like, well, they don't, we don't judge your living arrangements. No. It's like, I live, I sleep in a, a king size bed, bed, bed on, on my, my own, own and I go to the toilet uh, <laughs> when I need to when go. I need to go. And then I like how Charlie's like, oh, forgive me with your bed for kings and your tour of gold. <laughs> and then he lays on the bed with his butt, butt hanging, hanging off. out. Yeah. And then Frank's like, who are you kidding? We sleep butt to butt. Ass to ass. <laughs> so, and then Max's like, oh, we got trust problems yeah. here already. We can't be tr- just trusting this. And then they decide they're going to sleep over. I like how they're like, this is fascinating. Yeah. Do you think this would be fascinating if this happened? Say if no. our group of friends this happened. Oh, well, when we all go to Disney, someone's going to Oh, God. The <laughs> would you think it would be fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> would you investigate there is, it? There is a part of me that totally gets the mystery. <laughs> that if, cause you know, like, Who the fuck did this? Because it's something yeah. that it's not normal to do. It's weird though. But Why like, would you think this is okay? But in real life, I, I feel like you wouldn't want to embarrass the person who it happened to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like... I, I get that, but in a group like that, if I'm like... I don't know which one of the three of you did that, but I kind of want to know... Would you admit to it? <laughs> I would after about 48 hours of mystery yeah, solving. Yeah, after the solving. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I kind yeah, of but... get the fact... Because you would be like... Who did this? Yeah. Like, I just want to know. <laughs> like, it's like an unsolved yeah. mystery yeah. of who did. This? But then, if like, say you found out it was you, I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm not going to ridicule you for knowing no. that you did it. I just, I just need to know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Life's um, many mysteries. <laughs> so they're they're staying overnight, uh, yeah. and then they're like, oh, I'm getting tired. This is we need to. Yeah. No, oh, I love the that, bit some of farts. farts, and they're like, who? <laughs> um, so I need to sleep. Uh, he's like, you go first, mate. I've got more energy in me. Yeah. And he's like, well, there's sand everywhere. And he's like, yeah, some, some poison sand or spices yeah. or something. Yeah. So you're going to have to sleep in the bed. Yeah. So, so there's a sleep in the bed. And then it's morning. And, and all four, four of them are in there. And then Matt gets awoken. He's up. I love that. The music. It's like horror music. Yeah. The, the sheets is like a horror thing. There it is. <laughs> yeah. The third poop. Uh, but cut to... Shoe I store. didn't know I would be talking this much about, about poops. poops. Yeah, today. I know. It's crazy. I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we cut to a shoe store. Yeah. Where D, Artemis, and uh, the waitress. Are. Yeah. The waitress um, is very drunk. Uh, yeah, she's drunk. So and she's totally wasted, and she's like repeating things D yeah. says. Like, what was it? She's like, um, you need to learn how to hold your drink, or whatever. And she's like, says the same thing. And then she's like, no, you need to learn how to hold your booze. And she's, she's like, I'll, I'll hold, hold your, your boobs. boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's when Dee said about uh, we shouldn't be going around telling people about bleached arseholes. Yeah. Dee's trying to totally act as if she's like, I don't know. Feeling proper. Yeah. And the yeah. the 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 um, store assistant was very rude. I feel. Yeah, they're like that. Like, that's how know. they're portrayed, though, isn't it? In I normal guess. shows. So that she asked for some. Melano I don't know some, some shoes yeah so what size are you yeah 13 and then she's like oh you're gonna have to try uh, try the t- tall and big yeah. shop or whatever yeah. it is I don't know yeah 
and then the waitress is like, I'm... Yeah, tries to throw <laughs> a bottle off. <laughs> and then she's the like, floor. did she just try and bottle me? And they're like, yeah. Oh. Like, and then she's Get like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then it kind of... Cuts to D trying on the shoes. shoes. Bit of a squeeze. Yeah, yeah. $700. Oh, you pay for quality, I guess. Here yeah. you go. And then she's going off about we're going to this bar. It's yeah. very fancy. Blah blah yeah. blah. And then the credit cards. Like, declined. well, that's great. It's declined. It's like, okay, well, try this one. And then as soon as she turns I around, I was waiting for you to start laughing <laughs> then, because I knew you would start to see it so, in your head. So good. <sighs> what did you think about it? What's the fact? Did it you expect was... it? <laughs> I didn't expect it at all, but you know, just the pure shock of your brain processing what it's you're watching. It's so amazing, I was waiting for it, because she just she, runs out really awkwardly. She was struggling to run in the high hills, and then just trip. Head first, bang she into the car purpose. door. Do you want to know, Caitlin, I was, she did it. She did that. So they were all like, no, look, the stunt woman's got to do this. She'll do it uh, safely, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, and then Caitlin was like, no, I want to do it myself. I've got to do it. She did it first try. That was it, and then obviously they had the stunt woman do it first. Then Caitlin done it, and then afterwards they were like, "Yeah, you did it so much better." And Caitlin was like, "Yeah, that's because she did it safe, and I didn't. I just went <laughs> yeah. for it." She, she freaking smacks her head. <laughs> it's so good. I love how she does the practical stuff I herself. Think she was just. I was just expecting her to run. So it was me trying to process like what <laughs> trippers. It's not just the running's and then funny. All I could and then, hear was you just next to me howling like with yeah, laughter. It's so good. It's not only the funny run. It's the trip and the smack into the car door. But yeah, we've seen it before, like someone pointed out, because obviously we weren't sure, but she, she got waterboarded in the, the, yeah. the other episode, so yeah, she's totally into doing the, the physical yeah. stuff, it's cool, I really like it, but yeah, everything she doesn't ever hurt herself, <laughs> um, but yeah, that was my favourite part. Um, then we cut to the bar, um, mm -hmm. and they're talking about the poop, and then Charlie's like, I'm going to jam the poop right back where it belongs yeah. up your butt, and it's like, we're not going to be jamming anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then it cuts to the, them lot outside, D and outside. The, yeah. Um, <laughs> she calls her the waitress again. Yeah. And she's like, how do you not know my name? She's like, oh, I meant to remember everyone's names. Yeah. Uh, you're like, asshole. <laughs> um, but D didn't want to be there. No. Yeah. So they go in. And um, they are pooping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, because they were like, we're going to need them to yeah. do live poops and compare. Yeah, compare. And yeah. then Frank was like, mm, I don't think I can. And one Charlie's one like, one. I think I could squeeze one out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they walk in on him, and yeah. it's like, were you pooping on the floor? It's like, no, uh, it was uh, It was turtling. It was turtling. No, it was an endurance test, and I was totally winning. Meanwhile, the waitress is just stealing alcohol. Yeah, he's like, Dennis is like, you're paying for that. Like, and then Charlie's like, no, no, she's not. And she calls him an asshole, as usual. And then he, she takes the diary and a bottle of alcohol, and she's like, I'm going to go. I'm out of here, you Drink asshole. all this. Oh, I'm going to sleep with some random guy. Sleep with a random guy. So he's like, me? She's like, no, no. Uh, maybe him. And he's just like, no, asshole, whatever. And then she goes, that was yeah. the waitress. <laughs> um, and me? then they've got this whole, like, crime board set up. No, and she's like, with... what's going on? Yeah. She's very intrigued. And poops on the chairs. Yeah. It's like, we're trying to work out who pooped. <laughs> she's like, hmm. <laughs> And then Dee's like, come on, let's go somewhere like, sophisticated. No, I'm going to stay here. Yeah. Dee's like, I'm going to go find, hang out with sophisticated people, yeah. make friends and not all this poop nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and then she goes off to... A museum. An art gallery, uh, art I guess. Gallery, yeah. 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 Uh, so, what was that? A poozium. A fart gallery. gallery. My wonderful puns. <laughs> um, what did you think of the art gallery? It's very crazy out there it was like what <laughs> it kind of like it, it reminds me of like like thrillers or something like that where someone's trying to live a normal life and then like they get reminded or they see yeah. signs of something but it's so ridiculous it's about I poop i was half expecting at that point the poops to not actually be poops and just advertisement for that art gallery mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> no yeah but there you go she freaks out she walks in all she the poops freaks, you know yeah. And then we have the whole, uh, who did the poop? I do like it when they're at that art gallery and she's looking at that painting with the guy and I'm like, that looks like poo. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh wait, 
Uh, it's, like, it's like it exploded out of the artist. Yeah. I think it's crap. <laughs> you can smell it coming off of the V. It's like, oh. yeah. it's all the dangling poos. What's that about? <laughs> but yeah, we had the big whodunit part. Uh, well, first of all, Dee gets back. She's being rained on. And then there's yeah. a blackout. And then the lights come back on. And, and there's, ah, a poop. there's another poop. Oh, so, so it was near D, so now D is in the running. For so we do. Uh, so what did you think of the whole? It was very elaborate. <laughs> Artemis, Artemis who has did a it? lot of imagination. She does have a big imagination. But I just love how they play out all their all their plans. So it's in, yeah, like, we saw it yeah. all. So her first thing was that Frank's been doing it because he's old and he keeps yeah. pooping, and then I can't, I can't remember where then she went from there. He usually gets rid of it. Yeah. And then Charlie did one. I can't remember. But then, oh, Charlie couldn't do one. He was going to get revenge. So then so he instead got he got Mac to. to but but then Dennis was Dennis listening. Was on the phone. He was jealous. Yeah. And then Mac did it. And then Dennis redid it to try and frame Mac when he was sleeping. But he yeah. didn't take into account the weight. And yeah. it rolled. like yeah. a, She said like a small brown snout. Yeah. <laughs> and she also said before that about the... Two poops in two nights? That's a tall order for a short man. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so that, that was that black one? I think that was it's all right. of them, right? And then... So it was the one oh, where Frank no, and then, put them outside. And yeah, but before this, she said about D. Uh, the waitress was so mad at D that she pooped in the, the, the yeah. bag. And then she carried it unknowingly yeah. and dropped it. Uh, but then there was, yeah, the other one she came up with. Which was, uh, yeah, Frank could hide it in a hole and dig it. He did yeah. the little. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. It's a one night. And I like how she was like, he's like, oh, he went too far. He's like, I've gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> so then he was like, I, he needed to match Charlie's poo. So he found the only person yeah. he knew. <laughs> cricket. We got Cricket yeah, we in got the cricket, episode. Yeah, Cricket, Waitress and Artemis. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Cricket, known for his mastery of copying anybody's poos, yeah. <laughs> committed fecal forgery. But then it was that one, wasn't it, where when they all slept round, and the two merged because they and both Mac and, Mac Charlie. and Dennis did it. Yeah, Mac and Dennis did and it, and then they rolled and merged into the one, yeah. <laughs> the turd merger. Yeah, <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, everyone's to blame. Bam! She solved the mystery. And then Frank's just like, it was me. No, I loved the bit before that, though. Because she was like, uh, D, the slut. The whore. The lonely, slutty, bitchy whore. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the way she delivers that line is so good. Uh, so awful. She's just horrible to D. Yeah. Uh, he's great. Uh, but then, yeah, Frank. Says, it was me. No, nah, it was me. I don't know. They were yeah. like, what? Is that that was funny. funny. It's like, look, I even did one there while you were talking. He's like, oh. He's <laughs> like, why? He's like, poop's funny. Yeah. He starts laughing and they all so start laughing. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dee's looking disgusted. Yeah. I hate my life. Yeah. Don't ever poop in the bed again, Frank. <laughs> and that was Who Pooped the Bed. Yeah. Fantastic episode, I think. <laughs> That's one of my favourites. It's not a fun fair. It's so, no, not a fun fair like we wanted. <laughs> Um, yeah, you never would. I like how in the beginning of the show, like we said, they were like, um, how could we have guessed this would happen? <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. That was a very cool time. We had three side characters. Yeah. We had a mystery to solve. We had a D smack in our head. Yeah. The best part. Uh, yeah, loved it. Um, we will be back for episode eight, is it? Mm -hmm. Next time uh, on the channel. Yeah, so thank you for sticking with us. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. For more mysteries, Hoopied is next. <laughs>